Right, in today's vlog, my friends, a bit different. We're a bit more relaxed. Just got my mobile phone here as well. We're not got a microphone or anything. But Kelly had a little bit of an idea and I thought, do you know what? I reckon that's a good idea. We're a bit on a shopping mall around here. What's it called? It's called... The Marketplace in Dr. Phillips. The Marketplace in Dr. Phillips. It sounds like a, sounds like a movie, doesn't it? Where are you going? The Marketplace in Dr. Phillips. So we're going to go around, there's lots of different shops, we're going to go around a supermarket which is Publix at the end of it and we're going to show you and give you an idea of American prices and American products and foods etc. We're going to take the, uh, the mobile phone in so we don't draw attention to ourselves because normally... Yeah, because you're super discreet. Super discreet! <laughs> little bit of sarcasm there <laughs> i like it but it is a good idea so don't go anywhere we'll show you prices products foods american foods and, and even english foods they it, have an english foods they section. have an english food section as You'll well be disgusted at the prices yeah well we'll have a look at that so don't go anywhere it's going to be a bit of fun it's going to be a bit of light-hearted one and I feel a bit more relaxed today. Do you, do you feel the more the more relaxed version of the MacMaster rather than the... Well, it probably helps that you had a better breakfast today. I did have a better breakfast today, yes. Yeah. So anyway, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to. Uh, if you don't hit it, then you're missing out, aren't you? And also give us a thumbs up. In fact, give, give Kelly a thumbs up on this one because it's Kelly's idea. She says, do something different than food. Show them the stores and show them the malls. So that's what we're going to do. So without further ado, my friends, let's go. dog bakery yes a dog bakery yes only in america right come on then show me what you got for your little almost puppy 10, so. almost 10. i got her a fox a fox look. <laughs> oh look i think the squeak doesn't work that's a oh no it's <laughs> and i got her some treats can I just ask one thing, Kelly? I like to show my friends here the price of things. So this fox, squeaky fox, uh, what, what we're looking at cost on that, like $15? Uh, no, that was 20. Say again? 20. 20, 20? $20, dollars 20 dollars Yes. For the fox? Uh-huh. Let me see. See, 19 99 And right. The treats when I got three bags of treats for nine dollars each. So nine dollars. Fifty dollars, including tax. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for treats and a fox. Oh me neck. I'd want pampering in the spa for that. Come on, onwards. Liquor store. I always fancied going into the liquor store. I used to like it when I was in Hoboken and I'd come out of the liquor store with a paper bag because they'd have to... Is it the same down here in Florida as in, uh, in New Jersey? You have to cover your liquor up. I don't know. I've never bought any. you never bought any like liquor. I always liked it where you get your whiskey and your liquor in your brown paper bag and you come out of the liquor store, you know, like I used to see on Kojak and things like that with, in the background. I think it sounds weird every time you say liquor. Liquor? Easy tiger, come on, onwards. Right, should we do some shopping? Let's do some shopping. Okay.
Right, so here we go. We've got the uh, European Isle. Actually, hang on a minute. We're not in Europe anymore. We're not in the EU. So you could be, could be have a British one as well. British European. Anyway, let's take a look at the prices because, for instance, we've got McVitie's Digestives here, three dollars thirty-nine. Uh, it used to be five ninety-nine, so they've gone down. They've gone down. Okay, and then we've got an Aero here. Look, Aero purely chocolate. If you want one of those, one, one of coffin, <laughs> one dollars forty-nine. Uh, you can have, um, oh, you can have Ambrosia rice pudding, one tin for two dollars twenty-nine. Oh, and of course, I'm a big breakfast fan, aren't I? So HP sauce bottle of four dollars seventy-nine. And uh, Yorkshire tea, now we're talking $8.99 for a tiny little box like that of 80 bags. Uh, we've got PG, in fact, just take a look yourself. When I lived in Hoboken, because I wasn't very good at cooking and I used to stay in, I used to literally live on that. Chef Boyarde, beef ravioli on toast, can't fault it. How much? No thanks. root beer my absolute favorite first time i ever had root beer was when i came to america august the 16th 1980 and i went into mcdonald's in mclean in virginia uh, where my cousin used to live had root beer mcdonald's used to uh, stock it by then absolutely love the stuff it actually tastes a little bit like germaline gorgeous don't ask me why <laughs> found what I liked back there. Root beer, love it. Germaline in a can. See, germaline, I told you, it's gorgeous though, isn't it? No. No, I love it, I love it. trust Dandelion me. It's Dandelion and burdock for the win. Dandelion and burdock for the, oh no, root beer. Root beer for the win all the way. You're wrong. I'm wrong, I'm, wrong. I'm, re I'm right. You're wrong. I'm right. Root beer's nasty. It's lovely, take no notice. Don't, she says don't do it, taste it for you. Have you had it? Tell me what you think in the comments down no, below. Who wants to drink liquid germline? Liquid germline is great. Here we go, Lucky Charms, $5.75 if you like eating marshmallows and stuff. I know these are quite famous actually and quite popular. Uh, lots of different ones here as well. You've got marshmallow clusters, sounds a bit painful, and uh, Fruit Loops as well. Take a look.
Interestingly enough, because I know we're going to get this question is, do you have an Aldi in the United States? And yes, they do. However, I just said to, to Kelly, I said, what are the prices like? Is it as cheap as in England? Because that's our go-to store in the UK. But here you're saying... I, I get my meat from there. The meat's cheaper than Publix, but, and it's still good. But I, I don't really like Aldi for regular stuff. But is it, it's not as cheap anyway. No, so no, their prices... Not, and their produce is I'll have to bleep that bit out. <laughs> But it's totally, it's totally, it is more expensive in general in the United States than the food, UK. Food is more expensive here to buy in the grocery store than it is to eat out as a rule. I mean, it, that used to be the case, but here recently, even prices in the restaurants have gone up. That's just astronomical. But anyway, we'll ca carry on looking around and I'll try and get a few prices here, for you of different this, things. This is, this is how we, are, we are here in America try and make um, sausage rolls. You have to get the sage one. Jimmy Dean? Yeah. And how much is that? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Yeah, but you can get about fifty sausage rolls out of one of them. How, little ones. How much? Little ones. <laughs> little ones. Little ones. God. So a loaf of uh, healthy multi-grain bread there, $4.89. Uh, I can't believe it's not butter, uh, $4.49. So uh, there you go. go so if you've got hair uh, which I'm losing lots of at the moment you can have a Tresemme there uh, and uh, 828 millilitres for $5.75 Right, so for instance, just to give you an idea, Charmin, which is uh, nice and soft on your bottom, uh, 10, <laughs> 10, 10, I'm not really taking that, $10.49 there for, uh, for is there four rolls in there? Six, six rolls in there for six rolls. But it's, uh, you know, it's a good, it's nice and strong. So there we go. Expensive to wipe your bottom, isn't it? In this country, wow. You get that one down there, it's cheaper, but we call it John Wayne toilet paper. Why is it John Wayne? It's rough tough and don't take shit off anyone. <laughs> Onwards. you appreciate Aldi in the UK hot pockets gotta say my elder daughters Paige and Caitlin loved these things they lived off of them when they came over to see me in Hoboken oh yes as well White Castle sliders 
I just love the magazines in America, like this OK magazine. Is it divorce? Meghan and Harry. Basically, they've now taken over. It was Jennifer Aniston before, and she's been pregnant for the last 18 years, I'd say, on the front of that OK magazine. What a load of garbage. Tried, my mum would have said. Controversial plastic bags, I was just saying. In Hoboken in New Jersey, they actually charge for carrier bags, but here, no, absolutely free. You can have as many as you want. In fact, I want to see the price of what your shopping is, yeah. We'll have a look. You can tell me in a minute. But plastic bags are free. Look on the bright side. And you can use them as bin liners like I did. Oh, right, my friends. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, that little... Uh, trot around the uh, supermarket there gives you a bit of an idea of what it what it's like in the united states for shopping etc and prices and costs expensive expensive yeah yeah so don't whinge back in the uk when you're wandering around aldi and little and stuff it's uh yeah 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 it sounds like my mum now i wish i wish <laughs> i had english prices yeah uh kelly's trying me to a root beer though look so i'm super excited about that and uh, what did your shopping come to 89 something. Sorry, say again because I thought you said eight. 89, 62, something like that. $89.62. Yeah, 20 of it was a leave in conditioner, and then like another 19 was a shampoo and conditioner. So, well, there you go. Yeah. Bit it's pricey. It is pricey. So, if you do come to the United States, bring or, your own uh, shampoo and conditioner. Bring your own shampoo and conditioner, your own cereal. Uh, you can't bring meats. Anything that you're allowed to bring on the plane, pack a suitcase, pay for that extra suitcase because it will actually uh, it will. probably work out cheaper, yeah. So. And you'll be able to fill it with goodies on the way back. That's it, and you'll be able to fill it with goodies if on the way back. If you can afford them. If you can afford them, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and bring your own toilet roll as well. Anyway, on that bombshell, my friends, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up and just give a, give Kelly a thanks down in the comment section down below if you enjoyed it because it wasn't my idea. Kelly said, oh, go and have a do that and give them an idea. So it's, if, if it's boring, they can blame me too. If it's boring, you can blame me, but if you've got this far, it can't have been that boring because you've got to the end. So there you go. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.